Hello and welcome to the first ever biology podcast. The purposes of these podcasts are to um, help teach you skills that you'll need to be successful in biology this year. So today we'll be talking about the parts of the microscope. Biologists rely heavily on microscopes to um, explore the microscopic world and it's important that you know the parts and how to use the microscope successfully in order to um, do well in biology this year. So first of all, let's just go over the basic parts of the microscope. First of all, um, at the bottom we have the base, and this is where you'll set your mic microscope down. Above that, um, there are two focus adjustment knobs. There's a large one and a small one. We'll talk more about this later. Um, the arm is what comes up from the base. Above that, you have the eyepiece that you'll be looking into. And then this microscope here has three objective lenses. Now we do have some microscopes with four objective lenses, but for the most part we'll only be using the three on this um, microscope here. Below the objective lenses is the stage where you'll be putting your slides and your specimens. And uh, the stage is controlled by these two knobs here which move your slide up and down and back and forth. Then underneath the stage, something that many people don't know, there's something called the diaphragm. and It's a plastic disc with different sized holes in it that lets different amounts of light in. And we'll talk more about that in just a bit. At the bottom of, um, underneath the stage at the base, you'll see a light that has an on-off switch. And we'll talk more about that as well. So those are the basic parts of the microscope. When you use a microscope, there are four things, four parts that you will want to be able to adjust. I'm going to go through those four things and show you how to work them. First of all, probably one of the most important things are the focus knobs. And they're right here on the arm. There's a large one and there's a small one. The large knob is called the coarse adjustment knob. And when you turn that, you can see that it will move the stage up and down fairly quickly. And so that's coarse adjustment knob. Below that is the fine adjustment knob and when you twist that you can't even notice that the stage is moving because it's moving very fine. Um, so that's the fine adjustment knob. These are the two knobs that you'll be using to bring your specimen, whatever is on the stage, into focus. Um, when you are on low and medium power it's fine to use the coarse adjustment knob because it'll move the stage quickly and you'll get it into focus. When you're on high power, and we'll talk about those powers in a little bit, um, you'll want to use the fine adjustment knob. If you use the coarse adjustment knob under high power, you'll move the stage out of focus so quickly that you won't be able to stop. So only use the coarse adjustment knob under um, low and medium power. So that's the first thing that you'll want to adjust when you use your microscope. The second thing is the objective lens, and you have three of them and you can change between the three just by twisting like you see here. Um, you'll feel when you twist it, you'll feel it click into place and that's a common thing that students do is they twist it but they don't click it into place which means when they look through the eyepiece they don't see anything. So make sure it's clicked into place and we'll be using um, all three of these at some point this year. The third thing that you will adjust is the mechanical stage. These microscopes are equipped with two knobs that will move your slide left and right and up and down. So once you put your slide in by twisting these knobs you can move the slide around the stage very smoothly and at a constant speed that will allow you to observe everything that's on the stage. So that's the third thing that you'll adjust on your microscope. The fourth and final thing is the diaphragm which is located under the stage and I've already mentioned that there are different sized holes in the diaphragm and those holes are designed to let more or less light through the stage into the eyepiece. If you're working with something that's very thick or very dark, you want more light to shine through and so you want to um, select the largest hole the diaphragm has. If you're working with something very thin or very light colored, you don't want a lot of light because it'll wash out the picture and everything will look white. So you'll, in that case, you want to use a smaller hole. Um, just like the um, lenses, the diaphragm clicks into place, and that indicates that you're in one of the different sized holes. If you don't click it into place, it'll block out all the light, 
nothing will shine through and when you look through the eyepiece it will just be black. So make sure that you click it into place. So these are the four things that you'll be adjusting. The coarse and fine adjustment knobs to bring your image into focus. The eyepiece between the three um, objective lenses. The stage which moves left and right up and down. And then finally the diaphragm which lets more or less light in. Now that we know the parts of the microscope, the things we can adjust, and the total magnification, let's talk now about how to use your microscope. When you get your microscope in class, what are you going to do with it? So the first thing is, and I don't mean to be um, condescending, but first thing, plug it in. Second thing, turn the light on. There's a switch right here, on and off, and you'd be amazed how many students plug it in and then tell me the light is burnt out but fail to actually turn the light on. Plug it in and turn the light on. Next, you'll get your slide, whatever I give you, and you'll lift the arm up right here and put your slide onto the stage. Please be very careful with this arm as it is a built-in uh, slide catapult. We have broken several slides by students um, letting go of the arm too quickly and flinging them off the table, so um, be careful with that. After, you, after you've got your um, slide on the stage, you want to make sure that the low power objective lens is in place. So start with the smallest one, look through the eyepiece, and then use the coarse, the large adjustment knob to bring your slide into focus. After you do that, feel free, you can use the uh, mechanical stage to scan around the slide to find something of interest. When you're done with that, you can then switch to the medium power objective lens, that's the yellow color. Again, use the coarse adjustment and the fine adjustment knob to bring it into focus. Scan around, see if there's anything interesting there. And then finally, you can switch to the high power objective lens. This time, do not use the coarse adjustment knob, use the fine adjustment knob. If you use the coarse adjustment knob, you'll take it out of focus so quickly, you'll never be able to um, get it into focus. So only use the fine adjustment knob when you're on high power. Again, slide around using the mechanical stage levers and um, it should be ready to go.